Welcome to a World of Reviews channel again. And today we're going to be reviewing something a commenter wanted me to review a long time ago and now I am now I am now getting to it. We'll get into the video. And here we go. This is the Husky Claw Hammer. And a commenter had wanted me to review this. And also a few friends of mine. So let's uh, go over the features of this hammer. And what it can do. So this hammer can, you know, hammer nails and take out nails. You know, that's what a hammer should do, right? Well, there's something different about this hammer. Different than a regular hammer from Lowe's, Home Depot, or, or any other home um, improvement store. This hammer actually has a spot to put a nail. Right there is a magnet. So a, a, a nail actually goes in there. And I thought that was really cool because a lot of hammers that you see, they're just the regular, uh, just the regular hammer. Um, so that's that's also one of the features. This hammer also has a rubber grip, and that's those are the features of the hammer. So this is made of steel. Um, all steel, um, this is made out of rubber, steel is underneath, this is a magnet, <clears throat> so I actually had, I didn't buy this, I, a friend actually bought it for me, Wanted me to review it and so on and uh, and uh, basically why I was going to review it is because you know this hammer is way different than all the rest of the hammers that you see at a at a Home Depot or a um, or a Lowe's. Um, the price of this was ten bucks um, and. The other feature of this hammer is that it has little, like, design. You know, a lot of hammers don't have that. They're just a regular hammer. It has designs. It's got this little, little bevel in it. And also on the other side, 16 ounce. Um... The other thing about the hammers and stuff, you know, some hammers don't even have this. But this hammer has the emblem engraved, actually, like, cut out. Um, so some, a lot of hammers have that, and some don't even have that. And also on the other side as well. Um, you know, if for 16 ounces, it's, you know, it's fairly heavy. Um, it's definitely not a pound. Um. I guess if you're going to do it in ounces, it's 16 ounces. If you're going to do it on a scale. Um, <clears throat> the other thing I wanted to mention is that when you use this hammer, I would recommend doing it with both hands because the handle is so big. Um, doing it with one hand, it is not so comfortable because I actually used it outside. I tested it out to see if it worked well. It works well. But when you... You use one hand, it doesn't feel so comfortable than using two hands. Um, so I, I do want to let you guys know that if you do get this hammer, to use two hands with it. The other thing too is that this hammer, um, it 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 nails nails very well. When you want to take a nail out, it works very well. You just simply use it as a lever, and it works. Great. 
And yes, I did try that out. Um, I, I, right now, I cannot show you a demo. Um, and uh, I will not be showing a demo, which I do apologize about that. Um, but that's one of my rules. <clears throat> Other than that, I think with people making hammers, um, somebody having the idea to put a magnet in it and have a have a little spot on the top like that was a good idea. You know, I can't I can't disagree with that. I think that's a good idea. This is definitely a hammer that is not like any other hammer. You know, it's not like one of those just hammers in a toolbox. Um, this hammer would be good just to pound on steel rods, locks, and, and all that. So, it'd be a good hammer. Tried it out. It's very nice. I like it. I enjoy it. Um, if you guys could subscribe. Comment on how you like this review. And if you've bought this hammer and you do use it. And if you like it. And uh, again, subscribe, comment, like the video. And uh, I'll keep the videos trying to roll. Um, so thank you very much. Have a good day.